Daylight, it's freezing, it's freezing, it's cold, it's whatever you want to say about it. There's a storm brewing. It's a title fight, but Chris Boyd has labelled Celtic's match versus Hibernian at Easter Road is daylight robbery. Did he mean it in a sense of, well, Celtic got away with one, they robbed it, or does he literally mean that Celtic Football Club robbed? Robbed? No, definitely not robbed. Robbed. Well, maybe. I don't know, maybe Dermot Desmond was giving some fucking shoulder rubs to Nick Walsh for some of those decisions, but at the end of the day, what's Chris Boyd trying to mean by this? We've seen Chris Sutton say, oh, Nick Montgomery, he'll work at his, and the same man, Nick Montgomery, has come out and said that the referee got both decisions against his team completely incorrect. It's the fallout, there's poles up in the channel, go foot on them, go check out the videos. It's chaos, drama, filled midweek, and uh, let's stick with Chris Boyd. I mean, the guy was getting laughed at. He wasn't even allowed to voice his opinion. He's sitting there saying, well, you know what, actually? I think it could have been potentially a penalty to boil. And he get laughed at. And it's not like it was a dive. It was like he went down easy, but there's contact. He got a dead leg. You know, I mean, it's not like Cantwell's dive against Aberdeen. Yes, if he's trying to suggest that like, something like that is a penalty, absolutely, absolutely, he should be laughed at. But I think Chris Boyd's been done dirty here, Troops. So I, I honestly, I, I can't deny it. And I think in terms of the decisions, I think a few of them are daylight robbery. I mean, the problem with it is, I mean, if you can almost even accept the Celtic penalty decisions, what about the decisions Hibs didn't get? As we said yesterday, or this morning, whenever it was, what are the chances of Celtic getting both of their penalties and Hibs not getting any of their claims? Exactly. Corruption. Yeah, so let's see if Boyd's claim about daylight robbery makes any sense. Alright, because we look at the first incident, I mean, all it is, right, is a coming together, it's a clash of heads. I've never, ever, in over two decades of watching football, ever seen that. Now here, maybe when I was like, two years old, I mean, maybe the memory's a wee bit foggy there. Can't necessarily remember, maybe, you know, a clash of heads gets intercepted by like a Thomas the Tank Engine on the TV screen, but the end of the day is, I've never seen this given as a penalty. So, I mean, to see it in 2024 is weird, considering you've watched football your entire life, and I've seen a lot of people older than me saying the exact same things. Um, but, who knows, man. It just sets a precedent going forward of where they're going to have to give this. But let's get to the Kyogo one, because the more I think about this is the more I think they should have just stuck with the referee's decision. But then the, the problem is, the referee didn't actually give it as a file outside the box or nothing. To me, it's not clear and obvious because it's not clear and obvious that it's actually inside the box and it's not clear and obvious that it's outside. It happens so quick, right? You would need to get a minus millisecond to actually prove where the contact happens because, I mean, Kugel's shot, right? The shot's already happened and it's the same with the Johnston one. It's like the header's happened and the shot's already happened. Celtic have got two penalties, right, for things that have happened after the, 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 the play. So, I, honestly, I don't understand why that would be the case, why you would be giving it. And for the Kyogo, I just think they should have stood with the referee's decision. Honestly, can you really say if it's inside the box or not? Like, Kyogo's entire body is outside the box and half his left foot is in on the image that they stopped at. But you see, because it happens so, you can't actually tell. I think Hibs have been done dirty. And like, it's bad enough to get those two penalties against you, but to not actually be able to get a penalty for you in that fashion, I think is an absolute disgrace. And you've got Nick Montgomery coming out after the game saying that both penalties awarded against him were incorrect. So, you know, something's got to give there. It, it can't be that everyone's wrong, right? All, it's all Rangers fans. I mean, there's so many people just... I, I just don't understand it about the Kyogo one. Or the, I've never seen a game, right, with four penalty sh shouts and two that are given are arguably worse than the two that weren't given. The Ralston one I'd need a bit more closure on, but I just don't think the, Al the, the Johnston one, I just, I just don't see how that could be given as a penalty. I, I, I don't, at least with the Kyogo one, it's like, well, you know what, if it's on the line and he's in, then you have to give it. But then it's after the it's after the ball's already been played. I just don't, I just, I don't get it. It's like I said, like I said earlier, if, if Alistair Johnston's one was before he played the ball, I mean, I think then yes, because, but then you've never seen it before, it's almost, I don't know, man. If he wiped Alistair Johnson out as he was going for the ball, you don't know where the ball's going to go, maybe Johnson could have scored or set up an assist, but the reality is he's played the ball, I mean, a third day, a second later, not point three tenths later, if you know your Formula One, he's been humped. 
right and Alistair Johnson he's in the hospital we'll see how that goes for him that could be bad news for Celtic Football Club but uh, aye robbed in broad daylight from Nick Montgomery and Nick Montgomery seems to agree with Chris Boyd as the rain is pelting down here it's freezing Scooby Doo until next time daylight robbery